The Supreme Court is expected to announce this month in June its ruling on King v. Burwell. And it's an important case because uh, it, 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 it challenges a keystone of the Affordable Care Act, which are the subsidies that make health insurance affordable for those Americans who are eligible for that financial help. David King is the plaintiff in the case King v. Burwell, which is currently before the Supreme Court. And in that uh, lawsuit, Mr. King is challenging the federal government's authority to distribute financial aid in the form of uh, uh, tax credits to the residents of the 34 states where the federal government runs the health insurance marketplace under the Affordable Care Act. Sylvia Burwell is the defendant in King v. Burwell, and she is the Secretary of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, which oversees the distribution of these tax credits uh, to eligible Americans uh, through the Affordable Care Act. If King wins, there are approximately 6.5 million people in the U.S., including 1.3 million in Florida, more than any other state, who are at risk of losing these tax subsidies that help make their health insurance more affordable. Now, according to most health pol policy analysts, uh, folks who lose their subsidies uh, for health insurance are likely to drop those plans because they'll become too expensive. And what the insurance markets in those states will be left with are primarily uh, uh, folks who are uh, sick or ill and who really need their health insurance. And what that's going to do is it's going to drive up premiums in that market uh, because you'll have an insurance pool that has lots of folks who need lots of medical care, which is going to cost the insurers more than if they had a broader pool that contained healthy and sick people. If the court rules for Burwell, then things go on as they have been. We'll essentially have the status quo. In South Florida, there's a lot at stake because there are more people signed up for the Affordable Care Act health plans uh, in Miami-Dade County alone than in most other states. I think there's about 450,000 people according to the government's estimates. Now, the, th the, the five zip codes with the greatest numbers of enrollment were all in South Florida. Three of them were in Hialeah, two of them were in Miami. On average, people who receive a subsidy in Florida pay about $82 a month for their health insurance. And if the court were to rule in the favor of the plaintiff, David King, and uh, folks were to lose their subsidies, then their, their monthly premium would probably go up by about 359%.